boxes on this thing for the permit side. And um, just want to back up my other kind of things, but um, socialization, socialization is life at home and the money. Um, she was saying that his story about that young girl being abused at home is um, equivalent. I think it, um, she's neglecting the dark side of homeschooling. From when it comes to homeschooling, um, children, there, um, there's cases from forensics scientists that say that um, most parents take their kids out of, um, out of school to take them homeschooling intentionally to keep them away from the food. Um, he mentioned a website called um, Homeschooling Visible, so uh, Visible Children which is basically dedicated to expose these stories of all these children that are being abused. Um, there are cases of 3.3 million reports of child abuse made yearly. And according to DoSomething.org, that's involving 6 million children in the United States. And 6% of those cases were, homes uh, were children that were homeschooled. 6% might seem like a small percentage, but Having in mind how many kids are homeschooled, that's a lot of children. And they shouldn't just, just because it's a small percentage, they shouldn't be forgotten. Um, but, but one story that really <coughs> got my attention on the website was the Zoling and Glenda Dutra. They had four biological daughters and two adopted nieces that were tortured and molested for over two decades. Glenda would choose one of the daughters each night until it was her turn to cuddle. The, um, the abuse involved sodomy and other acts. Um, the abuse started in 1982 and didn't end until 2003. The girls were raped over a thousand times and lived in fear of their parents. The, couple, the, couple home, the couples homeschooled the children, homeschooled the children. But they were regular church tours and were good at masking what was really going on at home. In 1995, they told the pastor at the church, the kids told the pastor at the church about the abuse as a cry for help. And he responded by telling the family of their daughter's accusation. And in discussing the matter with a church man member who was also a police officer, a police officer spoke with the girls violating common procedure in a multitude of ways in an effort to protect his, his fellow church members. After both the church and the state failed to take action, the torture worsened. The girls were isolated, starved, tortured, beaten, and sleep deprived. Once grown up and out of the house in 2009, the girls finally reported the child abuse after learning that the parents were looking to adopt children from Mexico. And then they sued the city for it failing to protect them. Now, this is one of the few many stories out there there is on that website. And there are worse cases than this. Um, many, many don't, aren't reported just because they're, they're living in fear. And, um, and she's talking about bullies at school and, and all these other social cases, but what if your parents are the bigger bully? What if they're the one that's in your ground with you? What are like young kids supposed to do when every, everyone they know is in their household and they can't do anything else? They're mentally, physically, and all these, and just tortured in many ways. Um, and socially, um, children. Children need to create lasting friendships and need to be with children around their age group. Living at home with their parents just creates a, it creates a connection with their friends. But they, when they get, but when they try and move out, they won't be as uh, socially, it won't, it won't be as easily adaptable to adapt to their their age group. So when they get out of the house, they'll probably get along with other adults. But what's that going to happen to their social life? They're just going to end up at home with no friends. Or they do have friends. It's, it's just, um, it's really rare. Um, and who's to say the parents aren't, just because there's high percentage of um, testing, um, who's to say 
for the par that all parents are present and that they should be teaching. They, I bet there are some parents that that um, shouldn't be teaching and and because they have different beliefs, they may they may teach your children that you know all black people are cursed by God because that's what their beliefs in their Bible is. But once they they get out of that environment, they realize it's not true. So there's going to be confusion and, and, and things like that. And if they feel homeschooling, the better, um, better way for them, for the child, they should take their children to private schools. Private schools have flexible schedules and they're really intact with them, um, with the homeschooling or a system where there's flexible schedules and they have um, their homework and just are really flexible. Um, 